Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Danny and Mike, wherein the fellows discuss kidney pinches, numb Sanchez, and the hated cousin Oliver, with special guest Nick Caggio of Mutoid Man. Now play the music, Danny. Well, the Devon Rex is another good one because they have hair and they're also hypo- hypoallergenic. Oh, really? Yeah. Devon what? It's called a Devon Rex. It actually looks like a Sphinx cat, but with curly hair. So it's like a mix between like a little sheep and a hairless cat. That, Interesting. They're like, that, that sounds like somebody who's in your band. <laughs> Devon <Devin> Rex. Rex. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what would he play? Probably like drums? No, ba- drums? Rex is a bass Rex player. Is, yeah, well, that's, I mean, well, that's just because of that. Rex from Pantera. <laughs> just makes that a thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rex from Pantera. And wasn't uh, Steve Buscemi's character in, uh, yep. his name was in, Rex as in well. A, in a Airheads. Airheads. I was going to say Lone Rangers, but uh, <laughs> that was the How band. can you pluralize Lone? <laughs> that was my, uh, my fan, my fan uh, movie, Lone Rangers. That was your fan movie? That I made of Airheads? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like your fan fiction version? Shot of that? for shot remake oh, of Airheads. But set to the movie of It. Some Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we all jam down here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> on, the, on that note, welcome to the Adventures of Danny and Mike. To my right, Mr. M- Nope, Mr. Mm. Danny Tamborelli. I yes. thought I was. Thank you. Are you looking at I him? I was going to. But you're speaking about me. Yeah, I know. And to his right, Mr. Michael C. Marona. Hi. And I'm going to screw this up. And our guest for the entire hour, Mr. Nick Caggio. Nope. Close. It's a little bit of a harder G. Caggio. Caggio. Yeah. Damn it. It's all good. How's it going, man? Welcome. Good. Welcome to Thank the pod. Thank you for having me. This place is fantastic. Oh, thanks, man. So we well, I added pillows. I don't know. Well, you, you would know, but the guys would know. There's two Great more. lumbar support. Yep. yep. <laughs> Feel free to utilize those. Nick is, we aim to please. Nick is <laughs> sipping on some melon seltzer. I have some Georgia peach, and I'm not sure what Dan's drinking. It looks He's like blood. Tea. It looks like this morning's first urine. He's on his blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Might need to see a doctor I, well, for that one. I did get into a fight. I punched in the kidneys a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little blood your kidneys it's not a big deal stones do you know anyone who's been punched in the kidneys and well obviously we all know someone who's been punched in the kidneys jeremy i have not i don't think i've ever been let's come, let's come keep here. it that way come here. <laughs> uh but has you know experienced some ill effects afterwards no i've never no, no i've never had a never I've never had punch- a pp i've never had pp blood <laughs> i smell an adventure <laughs> i've been punched in the kidneys really hard uh but never yeah thankfully it was never like red pee Good. How do? Yeah. How are you aware that it was the kidneys just by where it was? Oh no! Yeah. Okay. So punch, it was actually like I was like ten years old, and my sister's boyfriend at the time. I was getting into their car uh, or his car because he was giving me like a ride home, and he was an asshole, and he just went like boom, Ugh. and it like it made me want to cry. Like it fucking hurt. It was like. <laughs> But he had his his uh, physiology textbook right there. Like, that's what you, hurts? You yeah, you he just flip, flip, flip through it. Oh, that must be my kidney. You feel uh. that? <laughs> it, it, it was in the back, lower back, and it it did not feel good. Ugh. Like it wasn't like a normal. I have like three older brothers, so I got punched a lot as wow. a kid. Wow! Mm. So I'm, I, there's two older brothers right here. Yeah. Uh, time. I, no. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Lock the doors, I, Jeremy. I'm, look, I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest with two little sisters. I, I never got. You're gonna pee blood by daybreak. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah man. I come from b- big, big family. Long got, line of punching. I, <laughs> I've got three older brothers and two older sisters. Wow. Uh, I'm the youngest of six. Wow. Same parents. Uh, I think they were married for like 38 years before they called it quits. Uh, it's a good run. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 38 years. But yeah, needless to say, I got the shit beaten out of me all the time by my older brothers and older sisters. That uh, that marriage is older than Dan. <laughs> it's true. But it's, it's hopefully true. hopefully you'll last longer, Dan. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you live longer than... God, it's marriage. just got dark. It's just giving me, <laughs> giving me three years, man. Well, you know, I mean, you've that's, been, that's true. <laughs> damn it, you've been cleansing. I got a lot to do in three years. <laughs> you've been cleansing all the time. You have any cleanse updates? No, I'm not cleansing all the time. I, the cleanse is over, man. You got to cleanse sometimes. It's nice. Detox is nice sometimes. I, I, Eight I, days, I did it. Did it for thirteen days. I, I, I went a little. 
afterwards just because I could. I mm-hmm. cleansed on the way home from the J train last night. <laughs> Intentionally or unintentionally? Uh, not not willingly, oh, but God. I started to like taste. You know when you like yep. your, when your mouth just generates too much saliva. Oh and, yeah, and it's time. It's like whoop. Like you, like but you that's had an imaginary you, that's sour you patch spit. Kid. That's how. That's how you get rid of. What it. is this in here? Why is this in here? <laughs> you don't swallow it. Yeah, but I've. Sp- if you yeah. just keep, if oh, you I've keep filling up, you just keep letting it out. Oh, I was lubricating. You better chance I was lubricating of not the streets of Williamsburg, <laughs> but I found like a traffic triangle or some sort of park. To, <laughs> I was gonna say this is coming from Tamborelli. Yeah. He's puked behind the bumper Ace of, of an '86. Was it Ace, Ace of Pukes? Buick uh, sedan, or may, nice. maybe Dan's the vomit. We ran into each other one day at McCarran. And the rockin' show. I was, uh, <laughs> I was in rare form from the night before. Nice. I, w- I was dehydrated from just playing soccer. Nice. But only one of us puked behind a car that day. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. And they were like, hey, Mike, I haven't seen you in a few years. <laughs> I, no, there was also like a, a slow motion Carradine uh, taking off of sunglasses in there, too. It was like, it was like, oh, yeah. I thought you were going You don't want to puke with your sunglasses on because you have the potential for them to backs, fall off yeah, the into oh yeah. yeah you don't so you gotta yeah you gotta be quick about that, that you can, pull off like the sunglasses micro abrasions on the lens is waiting to happen depending <laughs> on what you ate the night before i think those are ones how you hard just, is your bile you just <laughs> pretty walk hard away. man <laughs> pretty hard that's a pair of sunglasses you just walk away from i have to be honest if yeah. they fall into the puke that you're puking I mean, yeah it is your puke no it's nobody, not like it's somebody else's puke well yes that's true but can you ever really get puke off of sunglasses? Jeremy, first fact check. Uh, of course you can. What is it? What yeah, but I mean, that, is a, that is something that does ha- leave a lingering smell no matter how many times you wash something. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. I guess That's if you're true. drinking like Pepsi and pennies, that maybe it'll like eat it. <laughs> maybe there's some chemical <laughs> property that will just completely... Don't you just like shit zinc ingots at that point uh, if you oh, drink maybe, Pepsi and pennies? I don't know you how just the human body wipe works. wipe it with toothpaste. Ooh. And it all goes away. Ugh. So anything what? gets tarnished, you just wipe it with toothpaste. So Deep. I feel like you'd use the same thing where just put for it, puke. Put it, <laughs> put it in water with DD7. DD7. The delay pedal by Boss? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I know it as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, you're in a, a very wonderful band called Mutoid Man. Am I correct or am I incorrect? That is true. It's, true. it's, it's called Mutoid Man. Mutoid. Mutoid. We're here with yeah. Nick, Cash, <laughs> Nick Cashio. Danny <laughs> reps you guys quite well. Uh, I've with, seen him in the shirts yeah, before. Yeah. Fuck, I should have brought a bunch of the new uh, ones. Uh, We've got Contra ones. Yeah, the ones. Contra ones, are, there's a Contra oh, wow. Mutoid Castlevania Man Castlevania one's pretty good. Oh, oh my God. Uh, actually, You're, his eyes just lit up. He's Castlevania, huh? A friend Ooh. of ours, Bob Melvin, actually does all of these for us. The Bob Melvin? He sent this this morning. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. Like, he just, like, copies... Nick is holding up a photo of... For the, we'll put it, for we'll the put listener, it on the, the website. Yeah. For the listener, prepare to have he your just, mind He comes up with the, the dumbest... Not dumbest, like, the funniest, like, spin-offs. Like, yeah, the, the, the Hasselhoff one the other day. Oh, man. Yeah. That, that was... <laughs> That was great. And it almost looks like he's he's got your REO bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's like two-tone. All right. Well, that's what I think it is. It's the Aria, the guitar version of the Aria bass that was actually on the actually cover. Actually on the cover for real. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> that wasn't just Photoshop. <laughs> Don't hassle the Hoff. So I feel <laughs> safe saying that we're in a black t-shirt bunch today. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Or, Yep. I'm, yep. I'm also well, wearing what's a black t-shirt. I'm also wearing a black t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> I'm just checking here. Dan sure. and I. Yeah, check check it. Listener, yeah okay, it is. Danny's it hand is. is down Mike's shirt. Well, checking. It's, all, it's out now. Just checking. It's just out checking. now, and I've got no n- no chest hairs There's or anything. Trapped under you his will fingers. pee blood now. <laughs> Did you leave some Cheeto dust down there? <laughs> for good luck. <laughs> he saves it for later. <laughs> That's like the best kind of scratch. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, titty dust. We're all wearing black t-shirts today, despite the wonderful, wonderful weather that's been happening it's a little chilly out out today it's kind of nice what are you crying about i'm not i'm just making an observation your neighbor i like lamp your neighbor looks like a real douche i don't know who that you're uh, (laughs) talking about who adjoins your your basement the old Uh, woman did you go by did you go by uh, another apartment at first i think so and there's an old woman there well there was someone on the steps like up, you know how like you go out and then yeah. up the yeah. steps and it's like the stoop people we call them. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was just stoop people. Person. They're only here from what is it May through oh, yeah, November. They, right? yeah, 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 they go away after that. They go oh. under the stoop. Uh, the they only come out for people sale. under the stoops. They only come out for sales. <laughs> that's a good shirt. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. 
Do you, you've seen that movie, People Under the Stairs, oh, right? Yeah. For, yeah. Terrifying. With the hands, uh, wasn't it, weren't they, oh no, they were caged in the basement. Wes right? Craven. Yeah, and they were all like right? in bond, there was the dad that was in bondage with a shotgun. Ugh. Uh, Oh, man. So who was really in charge, the dad or the shotgun? I always shotgun? wish that was my dad. The shotgun, <laughs> the shotgun was in charge? I think the dad was. My, so, like I said, being the youngest of six, I was exposed to a lot of movies when I was like six, seven years old that, that I shouldn't have watched. That your grown-up right, right. siblings were watching. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, my, the first movie I ever remember seeing was Pink Flamingo, and I was like seven years old. And that's like, not good. Uh <laughs> Really molded you into the man you are today, huh? <laughs> my oldest brother actually gave my dad a box of dog shit for Christmas the year after that happened. Wow. What, what? And it didn't go over well. No, no. Yeah, it didn't go over well. No. Yeah. Did you guys have dogs? Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's he just he randomly just, just random dog. <laughs> Found some poop. <laughs> Jeremy, where, what's your position in the family? Are you the oldest, youngest? Middle. Yeah, we're middle. Middle, eh? You might as well ally with... Uh, I think I'm closer. <laughs> Nick, yeah. for, this, yeah. for the purposes of this battle royale. I couldn't imagine. My younger brother... Were you Were you the one that uh, sort of... Were you at the end of the, the sort of parental grasp where it, where it was like, oh, we'll kind of let him do his thing? I mean, oh, you yeah. obviously watched... Yeah, I mean, there was... Pink six, flamingos, yeah. My mom tried really hard. <laughs> this is a therapy like, session, by the way. <laughs> my mom tried really hard to, you know, like be responsible but my dad was kind of a piece of shit mm. uh, <laughs> this is this is a song <laughs> go ahead um but yeah both mostly like the simpsons and then like my brothers and sisters were, right. were there to make sure i didn't set something on fire or uh i set a lot of things on fire right. i was gonna say let's be real how much did you set on fire a they lot tr they tried you know uh, I once set a yard on fire. Well, I tried to. I, me and my buddy was walking down the alley. I had a mat. I had a lighter, and I was like, "Oh, watch this! This is gonna be awesome." And in the backyard uh, of this alley house was uh, was a piece of paper, and I lit it. And then the owners saw us, and we jet. And I didn't realize that it was l probably thirty feet from the and huge gas. It was a gas station on the corner. Mm -hmm. So within, I could throw a rock and hit the gas station and the huge container of fuel. Oh, and I'd lit the bag by. Yeah, it wasn't very. And then the cops showed up. We hid up in the top of the house and we didn't answer the door <laughs> and then we got a stern talking to the cop showed up oh yeah and they found you because you didn't live no, that no, no they didn't find us but but you were like the kid I mean, who lives 1200 near... people in this little town no no you were the kid who lives near the gas station so obviously they recognize <laughs> yes you. exactly <laughs> exactly you know what i mean uh, yeah it wasn't uh the mystery was solved very very quickly yes i lived yes. A, i lived across the street from a, a service station when i was a kid and it was great uh to look up from the porch it had joined a public school and to see sort of these, um, it looked like the hedge mazes from The Shining. These mm -hmm. just like mazes of garages behind the right. behind the place. It was so neat to look at from That's up, cool. up Did, above. Was yeah. it a full service? Uh, I would assume it, so. The, I never went there for anything. The funny, <laughs> he never got any work done there. Yeah, I was a child. The funny thing is that I worked at the same gas station. So years later. Oh, I don't think this this one was in Brooklyn. So no, I know. But I'm saying years later the. Uh, I, I you saw a young kid lighting a bag on fire and you're like, die, you little whippersnapper. You know, I made the same <laughs> I used to say that stuff this to is cops when I was a kid. <laughs> Trying to steal my thunder. Yeah. Oink, oink, bacon. Oink, oink, bacon. Uh, but yeah. uh, my best friend and I growing up did something similar. We stole like my dad's gas can from the lawnmower oh, no. and um set the woods behind our school wow. on fire. <laughs> Wow. Not not in a random pattern to be seen overhead, like purposeful. Just no, set on we just fire. we were just I don't know. We were just like kids who didn't have supervision, so we were just like, hey, let's see what this does. And we didn't mean to like we didn't pour right. gas all over everything. We were just like setting fires in dry woods, and then all of a sudden it got out of hand, so we ran away. <laughs> God, are there any newspaper articles about this? <laughs> I mean, maybe uh, this is in upstate New York. Uh, uh, with with respect. <laughs> For the listener, if you uh, can find Guys, that news article yeah. and tweet it at us, please. We'll <laughs> win a seat at least Stanford, New York. I guess this must have been about like 1996 <laughs> or please, seven. Please comb the microfiche yeah, for the Hudson County Recorder. 97. Yep. Was, you uh, hopefully there's a 20 year statute of limitations and not 20. I just I just admitted it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't have any cool stories like that. I wish I did. I, I just ordered two gas cans online and, and, took, <laughs> and took delivery of them. No, uh, I, well, it's true. We used to take room. I used to live behind, uh, behind our house where woods and behind the woods was like a major highway. And when when he wasn't allowed to live in the house, he used to live behind. The I house. used to live behind the house. Yeah, outside. 
And uh, my uncle used to get us like legit fireworks from Chinatown because of where he worked. Mm-hmm. And I used to get a bunch of them and we shoot. We'd shoot Roman candles over the highway. <laughs> Sometimes you'd hit a car. Like, I mean, we tried to make sure it was going up, but like, was, think about that tell. now. As someone, I was maybe like eleven or twelve years old doing this, what, thinking what about someone driving geometry? down the street, being like, <laughs> <laughs> "What the fuck?" I see some good sun shit happening here. <laughs> I know that's exactly what it made me think of the good sun. You're, oh. a, de- you're a deadly. You're a bad role model. This is what happened. This is New Jersey. Authorities went back and traced the pollution of Lake Snug to a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of fireworks, Roman illegal, yeah, illegal, illegal, illegal fireworks, and and homemade bongs. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Newsty bongs as well. Newsty uh, bongs. My first homemade bong was made out of a Dare water bottle. <laughs> wow, yes. it was kind of like <laughs> yes, wow. that's a good that's a good yeah. fu to the man right there. Irony, are you listening? <laughs> I cast my eyes to the sky. <laughs> Irony, do you not hear this man? And we were too young to get weed. My friend, like my two friends and I. So, so we, we smoked sage? No, it was like oregano and my allergy uh, medicine. What? <laughs> Wait, why the allergy medicine? I don't it was, know. It, it was, was green. stupid. No, it was it was like a capsule. And we're just like, let's see what this does. Wow. I'm wow. surprised we didn't like die. I'm something. really glad you didn't add the gasoline from that gas can. <laughs> we this is going to be awesome. We, right? weren't, we, weren't, we weren't smart. <laughs> but I, I, yeah. Hey, we both live in Brooklyn. We're both here now. Hey, yeah. Still alive and doing doing fairly well. We we can. We're not homeless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys are doing just great. I think this yeah. happens quite a bit where it's like, and then we realize we're in a basement apartment. That that part didn't come up. But Wearing black t shirts. That's right. Yeah, I, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Honestly, I, I had a I had a weird fascination towards smoking things when I was a kid. I think my, my dad smoked, and then I actually did a draw. I just found this drawing. It's over here somewhere. Of, oh, Lord. Of, uh, of a pack of cool cigarettes, which were his brand of choice. Nice. Uh, I don't know why I felt compelled to draw it for art class, but I did. Uh, but I used got to- Got a letter home. <laughs> um, your got kid is drawing <laughs> he, he pictures shows, of cigarettes. Is there is there something we need to know? He shows incredible <laughs> There's something potential. going on at home? <laughs> Smoke up, Johnny. Yeah, he really, he, he accurately portrays the flavor so well at such a young age. He's blaming it on the uh the uh <laughs> no but anyway the, the um i used to get the my dad had like rolling or like dip or tobacco the the red pouch whatever mm-hmm. the, whatever that is, i guess you you put it in your mouth anyway i didn't really i can't remember how it works but i used to grab sure. a little bits of that and then get a leaf and roll it up in a leaf and then smoke that Ooh. i had just some weird fascination <laughs> yeah i don't know what it was and then i go to my buddy trevor's house and he had a big grain silo, and we just sit in there and get uh, straw and just smoke the straw. Like, oh yeah, because it's hollow. Yeah, because it's hollow, and it would burn, and you and would actually like blow tube. out smoke yeah. like uh, you were smoking a cigarette. Yeah. yeah, and you never set any fire. A freaking silo didn't pee blood. Yeah, do you know how combustible? <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Do you seriously know how combustible <laughs> oh, those yeah, are? Yeah, <laughs> silos. Yeah. Silos like we of have- fire. Not so. Not not a good. Yeah, I mean, you could. No. Uh, if you do, you want to die. It's just a lot of air, man. Yeah. Do you want to die in Combustion a in a grain elevator accident? Oxygen and well, dry didn't. grains. <laughs> we, we survived it. Listen, it's the same. It's in the same realm as as you know. What lighting things on fire and gas? Oh, yeah. What smir- cans smoking and- Zyrtec? That was a can. It was yeah. Allegra, actually. It was Allegra. Wow, <laughs> was, I remember <laughs> Brand, brands we hate. <laughs> I mean, which means happy. How by come the you way. guys yeah, didn't just I, grab what? cigarette butts that were on the street and oh, yeah. smoke them? Well, that's, what are they? That's hobos? what I used to do. Yeah, that was like the first introduction. That was it's like I would just pick up and be like, oh, there's so many here, and then just think See, about I it. Never do that. Years uh, Jeremy, later, and how disgusting that is. Jeremy, I still have both of my lips. Yeah. So Jeremy. that's where I got herpes right. fucking when I was seven years old. <laughs> Please edit all of this out. I'm, I'm throwing up inside my, uh, my kangaroo pouch. What, does that upset you? Smoking yes. old cigarettes? No, thinking about, you know, picking up cigarette butts off the street. I did oh, see yeah. somebody actually. Well, when you're 12 years old and you think it's a cool thing to do, <laughs> what you do it. Frank is wrong with you. You are <laughs> destroying childhood heroes left and right. Are you kidding? <laughs> Little Pete walking down the street picking up okay. cigarette butts? Is anybody going to believe this? <laughs> no, but no. I believe that I used to steal cigarettes from Steve Candell and from other people oh. on the set. So oh, sure. I would have drag. freshies. I would have freshies to bring to my friends. Oh, sure. Drag. Uh, 
other names <laughs> through the mud. Or stealing your friend's mom's Virginia Slims. Oh uh, yeah, wow. that was always cool. Mm. Yeah, I would. That's what I, I didn't have to pick up butts because my dad had cools. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Cigarettes. And then if they smoked enough of them, they would never really realize that they were missing. Oh yeah. Right. Well, if there's Which a car, the if there's a carton in the house, you can always take a pack. They're never going to realize that they did. Where did it go? I, I would just. Um, <laughs> I would. I would steal my dad's cigarettes and then fill the cartons back up with water, and he would not notice. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't notice. Like, he would put a little. He would put a little line on there yeah, just to put, make sure. <laughs> I rubbed the line off with rubbing alcohol. It comes off the marker, and you just. I wish we didn't know each other. I could have lent you the the cool drawing I made. Uh, of the pack of smoke. Just put the I'm not saying it's cool. I'm saying yeah, the brand he just went was back cool. to the drawing. He really likes his drawing. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna bust it out. You have it. Yeah, it's put an. It I'll, uh, I'll cool. uh, for the he'll, listener. He'll I'll, put it on the I'll, I'll post website. It, yeah. Put it on the vision board, Jeremy. I'd like to note that we have a new vision board. We do have a vision board in, yeah. the, in the well, studio of love. There's nothing on it. <laughs> there's nothing on it, and, well, and it needs to be is, hung up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this, this it's a work in progress. It's kind of like the Trump administration. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, one side will you know inevitably yeah. fall down, but we'll still use it. I think that's it's all going to fall analogy. soon. Yeah. It's it's all going to fall, <laughs> man, so soon. <laughs> Talking about the uh w- the whiteboard, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, all fall down. <laughs> tell you why. Wow. That's a uh beautiful. Yeah. That's a Mike Maruna song break brought to you by Claritin. No, Allegra. <laughs> Allegra. God. <laughs> can't remember people's last names. You can't remember drug names. If advertisers listening, he will not. You will not get through to him. Sure, <laughs> antihistamines. Mm. Take heed. Take he doesn't warning. call them band aids. He calls them bandages. Bandages. Band of jizz. <laughs> that was They're the, opening that was for the, band of horses. Yeah, that was the that was the first <laughs> the first run through of the band of horses name. For, right? First iteration. Yeah, didn't stick. Uh, rim shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll we put need. one of those in. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll put one of those in. Gross. <laughs> feels, feels just right. Um, Nick, so you mm. man is uh, doing a, a solid amount of shows right now. Yeah, man, we're uh, touring a lot. We just finished a record with fucking. All right, this was really cool. Marty Friedman from Megadeth is on it. Yeah, wow. man. Uh, Chelsea Wolf is on it. What? Which is cool. Um, yeah, we're is pl- that a band? Yeah, she's she's like um, she does like this. She's weird, also on that label. Right? Yeah, she's on she's, the same label. Yeah. She does some really interesting kind of like haunting stuff with like synth. I don't know what I, dark goth wave. I could put like ten other genres. Also played together with you on this we, album. We just had some parts where we were like, hey, I think maybe her like vocals would sound really good here to like fill out space and. uh uh, this other dude Ben Chisholm, who's in her band, is like like a Moog wizard. Moog, Moog, synth. Moog. You know, Moog, I've always Moog. said Moog my whole life, yeah. and then I was corrected when that movie came out. Yeah. Wait, is that true? It's not Moog. It's Moog. It's Bob. Moog. His name was Bob Moog. Yeah. Oh well. But it sounds much cooler to say Mooger Fooger than it yeah, does Mooger Fooger. <laughs> you had to. Fogger. You had to. Yeah. I just just say Moog. Moog. Just say Moog. It's, it couldn't be pronounced like a mistake for anything else. Yeah. Mo. Okay. I still like Mo. Well, I'm really Mo. sorry, Michael. That <laughs> it was a troubling time for me. Yeah, picking up cigarette butts off the street. Oh, <laughs> come on! I guarantee people listening to this podcast have done that. No, oh, yeah, I guarantee. Two days ago, people all, in here. Not all of them. Not all of them. I'm not, look, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to to get to 100 percent of the audience. I know we're not all going to be the same. <laughs> No, I'm That's saying what makes you're definitely us beautiful. Uh, yeah, you're emotionally connecting with some of us, and you're repulsing other of us. <laughs> well, sorry, because you feel bad for my uh, my first kiss. Then I guess <laughs> she's the one that had to take the brunt of it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you, you Sorry, have, Erica Sainez. I'll call picked, her out. That's a you, busy day for you. Yeah, you picked her up off the street and kissed her. No, a, a little floor spice <laughs> from Danny. Mm. <laughs> so it starts. Uh, it starts as, "Oh, hey, how you doing? Give me a second. Find a cigarette. I mean, this all happened within the scope of. No, I'm just. Uh, I'm making a joke. I know, but I, I would probably like to think. Sad smoke. Yes, sure. I wouldn't have done that. I think even at twelve, I was smart enough to know that I shouldn't. That you need smoke some cigarettes and then go kiss kiss the girl I wanted to smooch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Here you are. 20 Here years, I am now. 20 years later. Rock you like a hurricane. 20. <laughs> 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 uh, Any time is a good time for the Scorpions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, new album? Oh, uh, yeah. 
tour. Uh, tour is gonna tour starting in June. We're oh uh, nice. We're doing well, we're doing a date at Terminal Five first, uh, May twenty second, with Coheed and Cambria. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's which awesome. I didn't know they were still around, but. Uh, Steve, my guitarist, collaborates. He lives with, around here. Claudio lives in yeah. the Park Slope. Yeah, he he. Uh, Steve and he work for BMG, so they're like staff songwriters. So like when Nickelback can't finish an album, oh wow, those two dudes are like, all right, we have to write a fucking shitty Nickelback song now. <laughs> wow, and like <laughs> and make lots of money. Doing yeah, it. yeah, and yeah. and like they do. That was just an example because I know Nickelback works with them a lot, and they're struggling with. I don't know if I should talk about that. But. Yeah, edit this part out, too. <laughs> but I don't know. Nickelback talk. Whole thing. It's, I mean, gonna, it's a whole new demo for us. Uh, yeah, and then and then it's June 4th through basically the end of July, uh, starting in Boston, then two dates in New York at St. Vitus, and then just a whole... Yeah. So you're going to Boston, you're coming home, and then you're going on tour. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the other two dudes are from, from Massachusetts. Ben and Steve both grew up there, so it's like they go home, then they start the tour. Them, you you <laughs> come you have one stop in Boston. Then you start the tour. Yeah, but it, it's great because there's two nights at St. Vitus, so I get to sleep in my bed twice. Yeah, right nice. at the beginning of uh, yeah, right I, at the beginning of tour. I just had this um experience with my buddy where we went to Acapulco and it was crushed with with St. Vitus people. Oh, just like a bunch of metal scumbags, but just freaks. Yeah, it was it was not like your usual metal show. Oh man. What was it? I don't know, but just people looked like a couple people looked dressed up. Like, Wait, was that when we were there? Costume rock. Um, oh, was that we, was that dude so in like the red two leather Sundays spiked ago, suit there? Right, it was two, two Sundays, Sundays ago, ago coming home from Jersey. Yeah, is that we talking about? Yeah, and we went I over there. That was yeah, it was some weird. Oh, it was some weird band. It was like a. They all had the t-shirts, and I can't remember who it was, but they were dressed up. It hey, was somebody could have had a cape. Oh, you know. Avatar. Somebody could have had a cape on. It was an Avatar. Because Avatar is like that Swedish band that's sort of like a... Oh, it was definitely European something. Oh, okay. good call. Good call. And I never went to St. Vitus. I strictly figured it out from looking at the people eating <laughs> eating that, at Acapulco. From, yeah. that, that, that's what they were yeah, going yeah. for. But that, that those were some, some good tacos, weren't they? I mean... Yeah, I like the tacos. I don't want to talk about those tacos again because it was the last bit of real food I ate for two weeks. Oh, man. Went out with a bang, dude. Four yeah. tacos. I didn't. I forgot how big their tacos are. Yeah, they're not like got, a, they're not like no, a little. No, 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 no. And I was like, well, I ordered them. Might as well eat them. Got to oh, eat. I, like, yeah. gotta do I tried to. I tried to throw my hat into the ring for the the fourth. Yeah, I said the he last could have chorizo. It and he said no. no oh, no. the chorizo one's a tough one too because it's so greasy. I so love greasy. it. I love it. It's delicious, but it's. You have two, and then you're just like, all right. Yeah, I feel If funny. pancreas starts acting up, it's like, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Man, you're so good with organs. Yeah, my old, like, <laughs> well, I was punched in each one of them by my one of my older siblings. My Oh, my duodenum. Yeah, my sisters, my sisters were very sophisticated and chose to work the endocrine glands, but my brothers were much more, my brothers were much more brute force. One took oh, cardio, d- one took pulmonary, one took... My sisters were just as brutal, man. I remember I found, I found my sister Kate's bong. Uh, what was it made out of? It, no, it was like a legit. She had like a nice bong. <laughs> yeah. okay. It was a good bong. And from uh, Corning, Corning, good she, glass from upstate. She's beating the shit out of me because she's like, "Don't you dare tell mom and dad." My other sister Caroline comes home and hits she, you with no, the bong. No, and she's like, "What are you doing, Kate? Leave him alone." And then Kate's like, oh, he found the bong. And then they both start beating the shit out of him. You're not going to tell anyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm not, I won't say anything. <laughs> but you learned early on not, yeah. not to snitch. Don't snitch. Yeah. Boom. Lesson learned. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I would have told anyway, but. Yeah, but that's leverage. They right just there. wanted to like reinforce yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's, tough. it's tough. You know what I mean? Because if you're not willing to kill somebody. Who knows something? If you're not willing to kill somebody who knows something, how do you express to them that you don't want them to say anything? <laughs> wow, you administer beat. You administer that a, beatings. That is a real head scratcher. No, I'm saying like you administer beating. It's not like <laughs> it's not like the Brady Bunch anymore, where yeah, it was like if, you have to do what I say because I'm going to tell mom. No, you're not. Bam. Yeah. Brady Bunch. It's Brady Bunch ended 15 minutes that, early. Like, that day. Who was that annoying cousin that came on that show? Cousin like Mort Mortensen. Cousin Mortensen. No, didn't they have like? I guess it kind of got stale like five seasons in, and they brought like cousin blah blah blah, and he lived with like cousin Bobby or something, and he came and lived in with the them. Brady Bunch. Yeah, Bobby oh, Brady. I don't remember that. Yeah. 
They uh, hated him, let's too. Let's go ahead and do that first Roy, fact. That's Roy, a, check of that's the, a, that could be a good day. fact check. Yeah, Roy, see, Roy, the extra see, Simpsons see, kid. See, Roy. <laughs> but put, the, a, put a sock in it, Roy. <laughs> the weird the weird Bart that was living in the uh, in the attic. Oh. Remember, like, mutated Bart, and he would feed him? You don't Hugh, remember that? That might have been, like, a Treehouse of Horror episode. Like Hugh, a, Hugo. Hugo, there you go. Hugo okay. has... Hugo was and always has been the good twin, <laughs> which would make Bart the bad twin. Oh, I'm not as good as you at, at the Simpsons. At Doctor Hibbert, but you're better. You're better than uh, me at guitar. So I'm handing it over. I'm do, playing do, guitar do, right do, now. Do, 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 do. Uh, Jerry, what are, I want. One, I want. I want some um, meaty some, rock and roll story. Yeah, I tour, want a meaty rock and roll tour. Tour, story. Um, tour rock story. Tour story. I've got a really good. Bl- story for, as of like recently yeah um so I, i'm a front of house engineer as well uh um, foh for the listener foh <laughs> um i got called to do her rehearsals before this most recent tour uh <laughs> and if she so she's super cool her band is also super cool like everybody who's there super friendly it wasn't like any kind of like rock star weird yeah shit is fred smith still playing bass mm, uh yeah 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 it's yeah. awesome um and so we're we're is he dan's brother Dan Smith will teach you guitar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his son. I am so glad. That's 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 I'm so that's glad Fred's that dad stuck son. to bass. Do you know that I went around New York City defacing uh, the I wrote, flyers? I crossed out his name and just wrote Fred Savage on all of them because he looks like <laughs> Fred Savage. <laughs> Um, so you're, F- you're FOHing. <laughs> so, yeah. So we had, we're like, take a lunch break from this rehearsal. And uh, we start talking about like the Higgs bossing and like getting into like weird space talk. And she goes, man. I could really go for some acid. This conversation would be great if I had some acid. And <laughs> and, and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, Haha, she's 71 years old, mind you. Sure. Uh, and so she keeps asking about it. And I'm like, if you really want acid, I, I can probably get you acid. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, dead serious. So I hit up a friend who I know yeah. has this stuff. Uh, and a couple hours later, he shows up to the studio. He shows up and... Uh, she procured LSD from my friend. <laughs> this this is in a weird way connected because we, Dan and I have met. Uh, Dan and I have met. Uh, we we worked with her on the yeah, show. She was she was on, on, she, was yeah, on yeah. she was on Pete and Pete, and she also hit me up for LSD in that no, time. No, Dan. No, Dan. Yeah, dude. When I was like twelve, she was Get like, out "Dude, of here. no." <laughs> I could really go for some acid right now. We're having this awesome really conversation. Go. No, Dan about hit Fred me Schneider up. Dan hit me up for acid. I remember, dude. Actually, one of the reasons I started my first band was because of that episode where you lost the song. Yeah, it was like the it was named after like a Beatles reference or something. Yeah, it was Hard Days Pete. Yeah, so that was I had already been playing bass for a minute at, at that point. I was like, I don't know, probably like ten years old or something. The beatings from older siblings had clearly done their work, <laughs> and uh, it made me want to start a band with my friends. Man, then, so I like, started wow. my first band because of that episode, and it, I did the same thing. Really? Yeah, that's and I like awesome. just started playing bass like that. That season. Wow. Like, How come well, Nick's hair is so much longer than yours? Because Nick keeps it long. It's Mine gets long, and then I, then I cut it off, and it's <laughs> short, and then it gets long. I, can, I gotta get actually I'm sorry the reason is Michael C. Morona makes fun of me Ooh. if I have long hair he doesn't like it anymore I don't do you know really live is. your life according to what I make fun of I mean, because you would be I mean I have to see you at least four <laughs> times a month so yeah I mean those four days are kind of troubling and You're hard big influence. Ooh, I would say he's we, a big influence we yeah. get to he's enjoy an, he's an older brother to figure to me we Boom. get to enjoy without each the punches without well, the kidney pinches. punches yeah. he's a pincher instead <laughs> he just pinches that one goddamn vowel man that one vowel yeah Fuck. Yeah, Dan has these Dan has these weird like clots of blood that come out every so often. Yeah. Those are for my kidney pinches. Yeah. Eey. He goes pinch pull release. Eey. Pinch pull release. All right, so what was it? Was it Mike Lickin Land? Lickin Land? Lickin Land. Oh. Spelled just how you think it would be. He is known uh, for his work on the Brady Bunch as Bobby Brady. Oh, Nailed no, it. You Listen, said Bobby that's Brady. Bobby Brady, but there was a cousin, wasn't there? Oh, I thought he was him. No, oh, Bobby was like on. a normal Brady. Oh, oh my yeah. God, Bobby! Bobby just, was just, an everyday. Just Brady type son. in cousin 
Brady show, Brady Bunch, oh, cousin who comes to visit. God. This might be the worst fact check yeah, you've do ever have, done. Do Jamie? I have to do the search for because it? Because it, uh, really, I don't like the Brady Bunch. I guess I don't know. Me neither. I just yeah, but you know, it, was it was just on all the time. It, it was on all the time. Hey, you were sick. Is it Oliver Tyler? Oliver, cousin Oliver, that cousin little piece Oliver. of shit. Oh yeah, was oh, it was right. the little kid? He looked like the basis for Credence. Like uh, Creed, as a kid, if you guys can <laughs> see the pit photo. Here. Yes, he's, spin uh, he's spin that around. Spin like that a, around. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does look like he. I remember look, that now. Yeah, he does look Very like he annoying. put down a lot of cocaine. No, and, he looks like the, the bass player for Creedence was Stu Cook. No, he looks like one of those Maybe. guys that yeah. gets hired to kill James Bond. Oh yeah, that's James, a very good point. James is yes. like I'm. Oh, you're like you mean like a. A person who looks like a little person. Mm. No, no, no. There, That's there's racist. like these two guys who are. <laughs> they're not Rosen. They're not Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. They're just two dudes who talk to each other and call each other Mister. And they're supposed to kill James Bond. They never do. Mister. But they've caught him and they like bring him to whoever Blofeld. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Robbie Wrist. Robbie Wrist. Yeah. Great. He's now a director apparently. Oh. See what see what being a child actor will get you on yeah. the Brady Bunch. I'm you sorry, be a director. I'm sorry. I hate <laughs> I hated child actor. I hated. I child. fucking hated him. I, hated him. <laughs> I still want to beat him up. Not him now because he could probably beat me up, but like little him. Yeah. Focus focus all your rage on on his success. You're uh, you're making. Him I know larger. a guy who can <sighs> do some virtual reality stuff for you. Sweet. So you can make that fantasy happen. Yeah. Can, can we it, just turn my band into a hologram? Well, no, just in about in about two hours, my <laughs> friend will be, be here dead, with though. some That's acid. That's the rules for holograms. I have no problem with that. You have to be dead. I'm cool with that. You know? Mm-hmm. Is it like a postal service stamp? You gotta it's be like, dead well, 25 here's years? Here's the thing. The, two, <laughs> the, the Tupac hologram started it, and he set the rules, and he said the rules were you have to be dead. Mm, not true. Because Carrie Fisher was a hologram before she was dead. Ooh, but that was in a movie. That was before. That wasn't that, at Coachella. Um, yeah, this is different. Hard, hardly. This is different. Hardly. <laughs> hardly. Holograms are holograms. Yeah. But musician holograms have to be for the dead musicians only. They did a Dio one too, right? And a bunch, bunch of people got oh pissed. Oh my God. If they did a Ronnie well, James it was, Dio. It, <laughs> it was like at a tribute and Doro Pesh, I think, was singing like the tribute to him with... Dio Disciples, which is like... People that he played with? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, they did like a hologram at like Hellfest or something this year. They used light-emitting diodes to do it. Dio. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very good. Boom. Uh, Light department joke. That's rare. I would be okay with that. I would be okay with seeing hologram uh, Dio. I would be okay with it. I would be okay with that. If I get to see him, you know, just a little holy diver one more time. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to... Children know if, of the grave. I don't know oh, if I'm going to ruin the world right now, but is there like a Doors tour with a holographic Jim Morrison? No, they Ooh. just keep putting people in front <laughs> of like whoever's left in the Doors. Ray now it's, is, now it's just John Densmore and... and thought you were going to say John uh, Denver. Ray Manzarek is gone. Ray, yeah, Ray's gone. Speaking uh, of John Don Denver, Denver, who would be your least favorite hologram band oliver looks like john denver yeah he does it absolutely does oh yeah good call least so uh what's your worst case scenario for a hologram band member Ooh. deceased has to be deceased Ooh. i mean you, i went to mama cass want to see i went to mama cass uh uh just to, it's instantly ouch I was in the Pampas were good though. Yeah, and what about is the rest of the band alive? Is that, is that what I, I mean? Know. What's the criteria for this? Is this like the person has to be dead, right? That's and they it. have to be in a band. <laughs> That's tough because yeah. like a, most dead musicians that I can think about, I kind of are awesome, respect and like all their bands. Yeah. Uh, oh, are, I think. Well, you could also do the the opposite. Well, was probably the holographic scenario. Elvis would be the worst. Ooh, Ooh that's that's a. Okay. Uh, okay. Probably because I'm we all have not so, here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here at all. Put your hand right through me. Uh, Someone give me a peanut butter I mean, banana. I think any sandwich. any of those are like you know. I I think it would be weird. To, I don't think I necessarily need to see. Uh, this is probably blasphemy, but I don't think I need to see Buddy Holly if he was a if he was just doing hologram stuff. Yeah, because that music was so. I'm so far removed from that music, and like I appreciate it and and, and like respect it, but mm-hmm. I, that would be like you know. Great, but that, or yeah. like the platters or something. But it's rock like, and great. roll. I don't fucking care about this too. <laughs> no, no. Rock and roll has always been a visual medium. Has always been the stage presentation. Buddy Holly was just as important as the Beatles and their hair and everything else. Like Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard with the pompadour. It's always the visual presentation of when you see the band perform is always going to be important. So Skinnerd maybe. Mm. Oh, 
that you never want to see. Like, no, that's you locked in the vault. I have yeah. I have seen Leonard Skinner before, and when they play Freebird, they have put the the projector down, oh, and they man. have uh, a bird. No, they have Gus. him like singing. Uh, yeah, to, Ran, to, Randy. What's his name? Wow, Van Zant. Something Van Zant. One of the Van Zant. <laughs> He yeah, Randy, they, they Randy have like Van Randy. Zandt. They have <laughs> Randy Van Zandt. Randy. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny if they just if they just they switch him out for Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> uh, Who would notice? No, but I mean that was almost that's like a pre hologram. It's like they're singing the song, but there's all this visual, yeah, you know, footage of the original singer singing the song in time with the band. And you're kind of like, whoa, man, be like, this is some heavy shit. <gasps> By the time the, you know, when did, when was the last waltz released? 1980, mm. 79. Was it that long ago? Yeah. Really? I'm saying because you, yeah, you became more aware of it, it more recently, right? Yeah. I mean, when it was reissued or whatever. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because, yeah, so maybe, it, wow, I didn't realize it was that old. I mean, I'm like 15. So. Yeah, who's dead? <laughs> Second pack check of the day. Last waltz was released. Was released. November twenty fifth, nineteen seventy six. Oh, that's even earlier than I thought. Well, I thought yeah, think about think about who's remaining now, and if you could use footage from that film, and how much you would pay for it. Nope. Uh, yeah, that would be. Oh, yeah, the licensing on that would well, probably be have, crazy. Yeah, I mean, half of that band is dead. <laughs> but their estates, though. But their estates. Their estates need maintenance and exactly. up, and upkeep. They're shitty, like offsprings, offspring who. Uh, Block up the sidewalks at brunch. Need they need to pay that check? Uh, or well, there was a uh, Dweezil Zappa's brother was giving him shit for touring a Zappa plays Zappa oh, because yeah. he's using the last name and not paying for it. I'm like it's his fucking last name. Yeah, like, that's some yeah, that's bullshit. Bit, that's so now weird. now it's what's Dweezil Zappa playing Frank Zappa what's, or something? Uh, what's that's just something a so stupid? Yeah. What's the name of the brother who gave him shit? Um, probably something fun. Yeah, Stardust. A, concrete, tr- concrete coffee mixer. cup. Coffee no, dust. actually, he's the only one that didn't get it. His name was just John Merrill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bill Mer- Zappa. Merrill. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> Eli Zappa. Uh, well, you got to think of something better than that. He would yeah. have a good. He would have a good sense of humor. We're all got interlaced fingers here. What the f is going on? They're not quite it's interlaced. Like a frickin', it's oh, like man. a freaking talk show in here. Uh, what is that? I'm not doing it. I'm messing around with. I'm. It's I'm the being view. Fidgety with my. I get, my, the view. my rings. I got to spice things up. Set something on fire real quick because this is way too casual. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Enjo- Set stuff on fire. Enjoy your last uh, year of not having <sighs> another ring on that finger, Dan. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. It, you mean, get you get used to it. The wedding watch begins. The wedding you, you watch used to it. begins. It's like, oh. but you oh. you are just you just did it. Yeah, Which I mean, is, it's kind of just like setting a backyard on fire. Just I just like too. I met this guy. I met this girl, and I was just like, hey, I love you. You want to get married? She's like, oh, Oof. let's see what happens. <laughs> we poured some Allegra on the fucking wedding ring. We're like, oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh. Let's smoke this. Let's smoke. Let's smoke this <laughs> ring. If we don't die, let's <laughs> yeah. get hitched. If we don't, if we don't die, if we don't die. I'm definitely taking this preacher on tour with us. <laughs> do you smoke the Allegra? I do. I got, I I got do. nothing. <laughs> no, uh, none of us did. Just you. You're the only one that smoked Allegra in here. I probably smoked more dumb shit too. I don't. Mm. You smoked Robitussin. Come on. No, uh, I never did the Robo trip. Not Robo trip. What about life. what about Vix Forty Four? You were a Vix man. What? Was that the rub? It's another, or was that it's the, another cough syrup. Oh, is it? Oh. Was that the rub? Was that the yeah. rub? Yeah. You've what never do you gotten, do? Oh man! Uh, you've never gotten a rub. It's like you put it right here and then you smoke. Ugh! I'm kidding. Listener. I'm kidding. No. Ugh, no. I'm kidding. That it's called uncomfortable. It's called a numb Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing. There's well, nothing dirty. To the you know what? There's, there's nothing dirty no, about it. Nothing better than giving yourself a numb <laughs> Sanchez. Numb Sanchez. Oh, the stranger Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you do it to someone else. <laughs> you just cross. <laughs> hey, hit this. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Um, you can't give Vix vapor up to kids under uh, a few years old. As I found out, my son is six months old, and a little sniffle time. No good. Yeah, you can't have. Can't have uh, it. 
it well, basically he just probably it, eats it. No, man. no, well, the, no. The ingredients like make kids bronchioles close up when they make everybody else's bronchioles open up. Oh wow! Yeah, they make their bronchioles close up. The so human body. Yeah, it has the opposite effect. So well, how did you find that talk. out? Did you not check? the hard way? Okay, and that's that's when um that's responsible yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> not the hard way. <laughs> So you're like, I know this thing. It's, it's definitely going to work. I should just check to make sure it's good. For, oh, good. It's not. I don't good know what kids. happened. I was just feeding him a spoonful of Vicks. And uh, my you know. mother. <laughs> yeah, my mother ga- gave some, uh, you know, and had to find out that it wasn't. Oh, your mom did it? No, like Adele <laughs> knew. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't think. I mean, when you think about it, that stuff is actually kind of it's very like a viscous. I don't want to say abrasive, but if you've ever used it, it's unpleasant. Oh, I uh, hate, yeah, I, I would like I, Gilbert Gottfried abrasive. N- no, um, you you remember when he was on a? You are you afraid of the dark? You remember when he played like no. the clerk Gilbert there? Gottfried was on. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh yeah, he, 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 he needed some. He needed some money. Is that a nickel? That's a Nickelodeon show. Yeah, that was a Nickelodeon show. I was thinking of real uh, ghost. Ghost detectives. Ghost, ghost of adventures. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he wasn't ghost hunting with Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> oh my god, there it is. Oh, it's I, 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 I see, see it, it, but I gotta leave. Well wow, I think the I like ghost- how everybody <laughs> just went into their best Gilbert Godfrey just now. <laughs> I think the I think the ghost would be more frightened. Be like, Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. It's coming at well, me. Well, spoiler alert, I worked with him and he doesn't speak like that all the time. Good. Oh. Good. As a kid good. it made me a little sad. He did like a he did like Remember in USA you used to have that up all night and they would just show like movies mm-hmm. and it would be like USA up all night and yeah, they, oh, USA yeah, yeah. they pioneered uh, annoying commercials. Yeah, did they? Go on. Uh, they, <laughs> were, check. they were showing all the problem children and I was I was Gilbert Gottfried's problem child nice. through, like throughout all like the segments that would come in. I was just fucking with them. And I was really bummed when he spoke to me like a normal human being. Did they keep you in a cage? Uh, Yeah, it's like, Gilbert? It's like, there's no Santa Claus? (laughs) What about George C. Scott? (laughs) No, George C. Scott. Did he always speak the same way when he was in character or when he wasn't? I mean, yeah, he talked talked like an old man. He talked like an old man piece of shit who was on his way out. So fuck him. Wow. And... and is this Gilbert shot? No, 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 no. We, he just said something about George C. Scott, who was oh. Patton. Oh, yeah. shots fired at Shatton. the at the dead at the dead general. <laughs> yeah, he's shots? dead. He's dead. I'm alive, so I'm winning. Yep, I'm winning this battle. Wow, fuck. But wow. did did Patton win an Academy Award? Probably, probably several. Jeremy, probably. I'd like to use our last, last fact, fact check. check of the <laughs> you only get three per uh, per show. We have rollover fact yeah. checks though, so we have okay. probably have like eighty. Uh, eight stack yeah, we don't always. Well, yeah, we don't always yeah, use them. The rollover <laughs> fact checks they expire like in oh, twenty twenty. Yeah. We tried to go by the uh, uh, the NFL rules. It's like you get. Oh, you like get two, but and if you, you got them both, wrong, you get one you get more. Bonus, you get a bonus. But you can like, <laughs> you can like beat the shit out of your wife and still get to play the next game. <laughs> I think, no, I think, I think, the NFL I think that's rules. NFL rules right there. <laughs> Fuck the NFL. Yeah, seriously, yeah. brands we hate. What a truth. What a garbage organization. Tell me what I'm looking for again, because I've already forgotten. I'm having a rough day. I don't know what's going on. Vix Vapor Rub. No, it's not what I'm searching. Vapor Rub on your balls. <laughs> I mean, that used to be the extent of the pranks in the NFL locker room. And nowadays, now it's yeah, it's like now you know what? Didn't that guy just murder two people and kill himself in prison? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know who we're talking about, but uh, I forget what his name stinks. is. New England Patriot, yeah. Yeah. former yeah. New England Patriot. Oh, that Aaron guy, Hernandez. Yes. Oh, this guy's nuts. Well, absolutely, he's not crazy. anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. What was I fact checking? Because I've honestly forgotten. It's good. It's better that you forgot at okay, this great. point. <laughs> I don't remember either. I think it was whether Patton won an. Oh Academy, yeah, that's Academy right. Award Thank you not. very much, Nick. I don't know how I remember he, that. He's keeping us on track. My brain is like Swiss cheese, and it's just like bloop, bloop. There are holes what in do you it. Call, no, there are synapses <laughs> in those holes that make connections. You need that Swiss cheese occasionally. Oh okay. Not all the time. <laughs> make a sandwich out of my brain. Yeah, Gruyere. Mm. Oh yeah, green point meat. Is and that cheese. what head cheese is? Is that, is that real head cheese? Green, green head point cheese, meat and cheese. My enemy, my enemy uh, sandwich store from around the corner closed and rebranded themselves as Brooklyn Monger. Where? Where? What? Driggs, where is that? Driggs and Newell. Do you live right there? Yeah, my, uh, my wife's parents right live right by on Saint Stanis. Oh, okay, right are near they, the church. Are they Polish? Yeah, twenty-three Newell. Are you you married to Newell. a Polish? Yeah, good yeah. for you. Yeah. 
So you married into real estate. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> We'll bleep out that address just in case there are any. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Get rid of the Serious addresses. Fans there. <laughs> That's okay. Her dad would probably <laughs> murder them <laughs> or invite them in for a beer. <laughs> How you doing? I like that guy. He's, um, he's cool. He's, there will, he's awesome. They'll probably be drinking in my basement this week as the soccer games happen. Yeah. Um, in the every afternoon. He, here's the problem. Dan, he did win an Academy Award. Ooh, Scott. So, four, so four someone's pens. winning. Four pens, so somebody's but, winning. Okay. <laughs> he refused it. What? Uh, he was Don't. the first actor to refuse the Academy Award for Best Actor, he having sent, warned the Academy. He and, sent Marlon Brando well, in his place. Yeah, and months in advance that he would do so on philosophical grounds if he won. Scott believed that every dramatic performance was unique and could, could not be compared to others. Wow. This guy sounds like a real fucking asshole. Yeah. No, I mean, well, if you watch, I bet, I bet you, Doctor, Str- <laughs> I bet you, Doctor Strangelove was a very d- tough set to be on. Merkin Muffley. Yeah, I'm saying just an amazing, <laughs> ama- amazing set, amazing production. Yeah. Uh, this one time I used to work, uh, this, okay, I was like 18. I used to work at Guitar Center in Union Square. So three years oh from now. Three years from now. <laughs> uh, it was awful. Yeah. But, uh, no we, stairway. We used to make, we used to pass the time by just fucking with each other and customers. And one time I got the entire staff to believe that the, um, you know the time to make the donuts guy from Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. Time to make the donuts. Yeah, the guy that, with the mustache, yeah. the chubby guy. This was also back when Wikipedia, you could... You got to call names. You, <laughs> you could, and he was you a could, chubby guy. You could put whatever you wanted on Wikipedia. <laughs> right. So uh-huh. I had told the entire uh-huh. staff <laughs> that he had gotten kidnapped by Somali pirates and was being held hostage. And like I made up this whole story and they were like, bullshit. And I'm like, check it out. And pulled it up on, wow. Wiki- <laughs> pulled it up on Wikipedia yes. and they were all yes. like, oh my God, yes. this is crazy. Why is no one rescuing? <laughs> him right yeah. now like, time to find the donuts time and save them float the donuts over there wow. did you find him in the store one day <laughs> no i wish he found him in the he was store downstairs one day. in the stock room Ooh. he wanted to try a loot he was making coffee <laughs> why is everybody looking at me i'm not making coffee <laughs> don't you drink coffee <laughs> setting, setting things i do on actually fire. yes 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 uh you maybe that's what we need in here what, is, like is coffee? A coffee machine a espresso machine mm. Mm. I don't drink coffee. Eight Keurigs. I'm sorry. Pronounce it again. An espresso machine. My mother says espresso. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you can express. Does yourself. your mother? Does your mother say espresso? No, no. But I. But she's Irish, married an of, Italian guy. Yeah, my no, my mom doesn't. My mom will say shit with an Irish brogue sometimes. So I'm like, mom, you'd never. Oh, so she says not, you've been to Ireland says, for shit. three weeks. Your she whole says, life. She says, <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit! Uh, Somebody she says tomatoes. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying tomatoes for, ma? <laughs> what is who's who's tomorrow? Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Tomato. tomatoes. Oh, when she's making fun of you, she said stewed tomatoes. When she's like, calling eh. you, she's like, oh, we're having, we're having stewed tomatoes. Oh, we're having, having pomodoro. Stew. We're having pomodoro in the pool later. Like, mom, mm. what's going on here? Pomodoro in the pool. Mom, I told you not to use my name in front of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> my mom didn't call me Pomodoro. His just whole so family would have been Pomodorable if she did. Uh, his, his whole family called him Pomodoro oh, when he man. was little. Yeah, well, after he got sunburned once in Sicily, <laughs> it never. That's accurate. It never. But it wasn't my family. It was my friend's family. It doesn't matter as long as there's a grain of truth to the story. Everything else is believable. <laughs> everything else is believable. <laughs> the reddest person I've ever seen. Uh, I did this thing called seventy thousand tons of metal. It's a cruise where they have like anthrax and metal church and like you know, just a bunch of metal bands play. Mm. You go from Miami to like either Turks and Caicos. That's where we went that year. Uh, but like 90% of the people who are on the boat are all like Scandinavian. So they're super white and super pale. Pale. And so they all get burned. This one dude literally was like fire engine red when we got to the beach and he didn't care. All he's doing is dehydrating himself Ugh. and drinking all drinking. day. And we get to the beach in Turks and Caicos, and it's literally like the whole beach is just people wearing black. First of all, this guy's got like a black speedo, and he's literally like the color of a fire truck. Wow! Like I was just like that. That can't be healthy. That's like <laughs> he's gonna die. It's like the outdoor version of Acapulco. <laughs> <laughs> outdoor Acapulco. That's how they make. That's, yeah. how, that's how they make the uh, chorizo. Because <laughs> it does. It is that kind of fire red. That's a weird. Yeah, it's got to come from the achiote. It's on. It's unhealthy. 
Yeah, it's looking. Un- it's unhealthy delicious. looking. Are you talking about that guy or the chorizo? And both of them. <laughs> a little bit of both. There's also a little cannibalism on this tour. <laughs> on this <laughs> boat tour. <laughs> well, I, there are going to be cannibals in any tour. It would probably be 70,000 pounds of metal tour. Dragon Force was really fun on that one. Wow. <laughs> if you had Dragon Force, you know, you know them? If you had Dragon Fastest Force. Fastest guitar, bro. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, the band is like whatever, but... They um so this thing happens on like a boat deck like a carnival cruise ship essentially right so on the main stage there's a pool and there's like hot tubs everywhere did These, they run out of porta potties ever at ever you just shit over the side okay um. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys actually they all had wireless guitars and keytars and stuff oh, they shit. would jump off the stage and they would get in the hot tubs with people and they were like shredding wow. in these hot tubs holding the guitar up yeah just like wow. and i guess their remote packs were higher up oh. on their shoulder yeah yeah it's on the, it's on like the strap you know i think of you know like phones the phones get wet to the wallet do they have to air no you leave wallet? that no you leave that in your dressing room oh the- before you that makes sense the auto blow too that they all carry around with them. <laughs> <laughs> everything was in floating pouches i actually have a floating shot glass that they, that i just found while cleaning up uh that was given to me in vegas where you just wear it around your neck and Ooh. it floats in the pool and then people just come up and fill it up while you're floating nice. in the pool yeah and that might be your app. That might be your your gift. Does it today. also? We don't have t-shirts. Cool. Does it also double as a flotation device in case you drink too much? <laughs> I think so. Or a puke. You could puke into it, I guess, too. Oh, that, never very f- little bit. Never forget that those small pukes. amounts. I mean, yes. Bleh. If you're yes. gonna spew, <laughs> spew bleh. into this. That's right. That's right. Well, Nick, uh, what kind of plugs you got other than uh, this new album? When's the new album coming out? Uh, June 2nd. June 2nd. Yeah. Oh, this- I also do a show, which I need to get you guys on, yeah. actually, called Two Minutes to Late Night. Uh, and it's like a heavy metal themed. Oh, yeah. It's basically like Headbangers Ball meets Conan O'Brien. At um, St. Vitus. So yeah, redheaded. We, we, the redheaded. We film it there. Redheaded rockers. So we've, we've had some pretty cool guests. We had John Baisley from Baroness. Yeah. Uh, we just had Ice T. Uh, insult us and threaten to kill us a bunch. Nice. Uh, Marty Friedman did like a little cameo. Th- was that for a segment on the show, or that was when you were trying to get him on the show? No. Ice, ice tea. <laughs> it was literally like just like a little bumper he did. He was originally supposed to be on the show, and then he got too busy with like CSI or and something we, like and that. And we were like, Ice tea, come on the show, and he was like, Shut up, man. I'm no, going to kill you. I'll have to show you afterwards. It's really funny. He's basically just calling us a bunch of bitch ass, pussy ass. Like, it's really funny. Yeah. And he throws, he throws his body count band in there and be like, I'll show you out what real, what going to show real, up real heavy metal is. It's lead coming from the end of my right. gun. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. We just finished the second episode. We're going to film the third in like mid, mid. Okay. We're, I guess we're doing the music segment. So the next one we have Jay Weinberg from Slipknot. And his dad, Max Weinberg from Conan O'Brien. And Wait, the, that's a real thing? Yeah. And so the whole... Wow. They're related. The, Didn't know that. The whole idea is to ma- make them swap roles. We're going to try to get Max Weinberg um, to put on the, the Slipknot costume and just start playing with them. And they're wow. going to be like, what the fuck? And then he's going to be like, ha ha, gotcha. It's me. <laughs> 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 I'm not playing with Bruce Springsteen anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Ta-da. Yeah. And what's that? Uh, uh, what's Two minutes to late night. Stuff, YouTube? Yeah, just it's, it's two minutes to late night. You could find it on YouTube. I think Loudwire is now kind of going to be our proper, like they're gonna, they're going to put it out. Yeah, they're going to they're going to start premiering the episodes first over there. Is this the only late night metal talk show thing at of, it, of its kind? Because uh, I've watched yeah. something on YouTube that maybe it was the are they out? Uh, yeah, the first yeah. two episodes are I out. Think we I also maybe have I've like this. we do a bunch of shorts too. Like we played "She's a Lady" by Tom Jones on the subway going over the Williamsburg Bridge. We just tried. I to talked do... about that on this podcast. Yeah, at some point because we... that was that that was awesome. <laughs> Mini I drum kit. Love that. Love that. <laughs> we just try to do dumb stuff and have fun, man. We all uh, the the guys who run it, Drew uh, Drew Kaufman and Jordan Olds. It's kind of like their brainchild, um, and they're really funny. They're like Upright Citizens Brigade. I see a thing over there. Mm-hmm. They all like went and did all that improv stuff, and right. uh, they've worked for. I think Drew helped create um, that blog, The Hard Times, which is like the punk rock onion. Mm-hmm. They come up with like stupid, awesome headlines and write funny stories about it. Um, and it's just like their brainchild, and they approached us to do like be the house band right. and me be the co host, where I just basically get hammered and they don't really write me a script. I just base, I just do everything off the cuff and I'm. Keenan, Keenan to, reaction TBD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, say stupid things to insult people. Um, I just don't take my job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so it's super fun. Uh, those are the only two things I'm involved in. Cool. And <laughs> those are not the, those are not the only two things because you have a tour. You're going to Boston. You're coming yeah. back home. Coming you're home. Sleeping, sleeping home for two nights. Two nights. Yep. Four tacos. Yeah. Check, check MutoidMan.com. Yeah, buy a shirt. For tour dates. Yeah. Yeah, buy some t-shirts. Buy some merch. And what, Guys, what about yeah, uh, merch Twitter? Is do, important. You, do you use Twitter or uh, I don't personally. I mean, I have a Twitter. I have an Instagram. The band has all that stuff. Okay. Well, follow it. Yeah, follow Mutoid. What, what, yeah, is it's that just, just that Mutoid, man. All go. of it's just that Mutoid, man. Yeah. Uh, my Instagram's mostly dick pics, so they only last for like a half an hour. And then Until they, they get, get yeah. jerked off. Deleted. <laughs> 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 they get yanked off. Okay, yanked they get off. yanked off. Either way. Either Screw way. the system. Screw it. For the, sy- for the system. For the listener, Jeremy held up his hand for a high five that nobody... Two did. episodes in a row. Ooh, no gosh. high five. Sorry, buddy. Well, Nick, uh, that was a lot of fun, man. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for fantastic. Thank you for coming to our basement studio. Thanks for coming. I came too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Morona. The show is produced by Jeremy Bailey. The podcast is part of the Feral Audio Podcasting Collective and can be found on their website at feralaudio.com. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter, at Danny and Mike, with the and spelled out, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. <laughs>